Okay, I want to show you this game called The Ascent. You can find this on Steam. I don't necessarily think it's that fun of a game, but I bought it for mindless fun. The other reason I bought it is because it has ray tracing and I have a, an RTX 3090 and I wanted to try it out because it has really good ray tracing. It also has a lot of details in the environments, so it's not a complete wash. But right now we're in SDR mode and I want to show you how to enable Special K with this game. So I've already got Special K running and normally what you would do is you would double click on the game from Special K. Well I just installed it and it's not going to show here. But I have this uh, in injection strategy. If you click this global here it starts running it and it just stays running as long as Special K is running. And so then when you start the game it'll have Special K running in the background. So this game does not natively have HDR, but it does. The engine supports HDR. It's running in Dex DirectX 12 mode. But let me just turn on everything here. Why not? Uh, this one's definitely going to need to be on <laughs> because the game does not run well for me. It's also running in borderless full screen. If I ran it in full screen at a lower resolution, it would run even faster. Let's take a look at what this looks like with HDR. So first I'm going to turn on Special K by hitting Control Shift Backspace. And then I'm going to go over here to HDR and click HDR Setup. And this thing pops up. You click SCRGB. HDR, you click that and that moves into HDR mode. It's most likely going to look like junk as soon as you do it. Everything looks washed out and bad and like oversaturated and everything. That's fine. Uh, it says to hit Alt Enter a few times to switch it. it. It did enable HDR, so I don't know if you're seeing the HDR, but I'm definitely seeing the HDR on my end. Hopefully it's getting in the recording. And then I'm going to change these settings. So the newest version of Special K has this perceptual boost thing. It does look like HDR. I mean, it looks really good. Hey everyone, Future Kevin here. At the time I recorded this video, perceptual boost in Special K was brand new. So I didn't know how to use it and I did not use it in this video, which I regret because now that I know how it works, I would actually recommend you use that rather than fiddling with the manual settings. But I'm going to show you how I did the manual settings because otherwise this, the rest of the video is not going to make sense. It's mostly the same, but perceptual boost will look a lot better. There's a future video, actually three of them coming out, that use perceptual boost and I'll go through the feature in those videos. Thank you very much. And maybe this is the way to do it because it does bump this contrast a bit and looks nice. But typically I like to run it a little bit different. So I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this normal preset here and just use the first one here. So I, I'm setting the peak white and then I set the paper white to about 250 because I think that's correct. Maybe a little bit more. I do it like 260. I think that's correct. And then I don't touch anything else. But bumping the contrast honestly makes things look better. Not that far, but just a little bit will make it look better. I don't really want to mess with it though. I want to keep it as close to zero as possible because I, I don't know if I, I don't really exactly know what I'm doing when I change these values. I, I, the other thing with special case sliders, you can't use the arrow keys. So whatever you get is what you get. It's going to be slightly off. It's no big deal if it's not perfect. And then there's this bypass sRGB gamma. We don't need it for this game. As you can see, it's too bright. But in some games, if it's too dark, then you have to click this to, to make it look correct. And then this is set to pass through. That's correct. If you use ACS Filmmaker or whatever, it doesn't look as nice. I mean, also, if you can move the slider, it actually works this time. You can see what SDR looks like versus the HD. So let me pull this up a bit here and you can see the difference between HDR is going to be up here and the SDR is going to be on this side and I'll load up the game so you can see it but the other thing I want to show you is this this is showing you the HDR space and what it looks like so as you can see anything that's shiny rainbow if it's flashing in different colors that means it's it's either clipping or it's hitting some kind of peak brightness level so you can see it over here for sure there's something happening there but everything else this purple these are all based on the HDR values anything in grayscale is SDR and anything with color is HDR. This is a very neat way to represent it. So these are settings I would use on this particular display. And to close it, I just go back here and I do this. But there's another way to close it too. You can go down here to widgets and you just uncheck HDR display. Now some games this won't show up because they're DirectX 9, but they're adding DirectX 9 support. Another way is if you could convert the game to Vulkan, then you could do it. But Special K currently does not support Vulkan. And it's also, it's got other features too. Like you can see the frame pacing. This is not very consistent for the frames per second, but it is hitting 120. It's just looks like the frame pacing is a little off uh, and it might just be because it's a little zoomed in I'm not sure but it has all these things you can use to look at things that you would normally get uh, nice stats even the audio oh man when it has surround sound it shows all the surround sound channels down here so you can check to see that uh, this is what I wanted to show you so you can see here the render queue and you can see the OS render queue is usually taking the longest time but some of these do overlap so even if some take a little bit longer it doesn't matter now the special K one as it's showing here 0.01 milliseconds you can see that it doesn't make much of a difference when you're using special K so it doesn't worsen your capability of using HDR. I do want to mess with the HDR while we're in here and then change these values so you can see the difference. I think you can see the difference. I mean, it should be pretty drastic. Now you need to be watching this on an HDR display. So if you're on an SDR display, you're not going to be able to do it. Even if you are on an HDR display, that doesn't matter unless you're watching in HDR. If you're on YouTube, I have a different video that shows you how to tell if it's in HDR. It has to say HDR on that little settings cog in the bottom right. Oh man, that frame rate, 46. Woo. 
Yeah, this is why you have to run it at a lower frame rate if you've got ray tracing maxed out. 3090s are not capable. But HDR makes a huge impact. I mean, you can see it. Just look at this piece versus the rest of it. It's very dark and dim over here. But if I do this, it really brings up the brightness in a nice way. And something that's different about Special K versus something like Auto HDR is Special K hooks into the game engine because the game engine actually has HDR. It's just not exposed to the LDR, the low dynamic range that it shows you when you're actually viewing the game in SDR mode. They call it standard definition, but it's really like low definition. Colors are completely different. I mean, look at this guy's thing here. See how shiny it is on the back there? That shininess is completely gone. It's just dulled out as soon as you're out of the HDR view. Yeah, There's a huge difference between what is and is not HDR in here. These signs would be good to check too. So I can show you the signs. You can see here they're actually looking like they're lit. Here they're looking like they're just completely dull. Anything with lots of bright lights, looks amazing in HDR because you can really see the light shining. Like this one is a good example over here with these characters. Look at that sidewalk. Specular highlights. See? It's just dull here. Here, they look like they're, it's just, the light is actually reflecting off of it. And you can see that when you look at the luminance graph here, you can see all these colors here from HDR. And you can see how bright they get. These are Some of these are maxing my brightness out here. I can raise this up even more to be even brighter by changing the peak white luminance. Let's see how that compares. Yeah, okay, now we're getting a lot of stuff that's in this high range here. Is it over a thousand nits? Is that why it's doing that? So I'm, I'm going to be in this area here myself, but what really makes a difference is the paper white. So if you really up this paper white, you're going to start getting more brightness overall in the scene but you got to be careful because you can lose some detail when you do this depending on how you set it up depending on how the game engine set up but this is very bright right here so i, I like it at about 250 but i want to show you the luminance level when you raise this as you can see here everything starts getting more into the hdr range when you raise the paper white because as far as i know what this does is it raises what the white level the essentially the sdr white level is as this paper white and then this contrast one as you see here this also puts more things in uh, HDR range, but that's not necessarily what it does. The contrast, what it does is it gives more differentiation between the lights and the dark areas. And that's what you're seeing here when you're seeing that. So the dark areas grow and the light areas grow. That's what's supposed to happen, but it looks like to me, because of this purple, all the light areas are growing. Uh, and it just might be a side effect of what we're seeing here. So if I, if I lower this, it looks like SDR now. And then if I raise it, it looks definitely like overblown HDR. Definitely neat that you can do these things to a game that already exists that does not have HDR natively and you can see how much better this looks it just it's phenomenal what that light looks like over here you can't even see it it's like the light's not really shining on him it's just the interpretation of what the light might look like if it was shining on him whereas when you have HDR it looks like wow that light is really actually shining on him see if this has any bright lights here when I open this yeah tons of bright lights oh my gosh my eyes Whew. and this is maxed to what 760 something peak and peak brightness if you have a display that's capable of brighter image it's not gonna show it any brighter than what I'm seeing but you'll at least see the same brightness that I'm seeing that's it for this game hopefully you enjoyed seeing what you can do with Special K when you put it in a game because it can really change things, especially if the game doesn't natively support HDR and if Auto HDR doesn't even work in the game, which this game does not support Auto HDR for some reason. I don't know if Auto HDR just doesn't work in DirectX 12, and maybe if I go into DirectX 11 it would turn on, I'm not sure. But once you've used Special K and you've set it into that SC RGB mode and it's not in the HDR 10 passer, so this one would let be the game's native. This one is the uh, Special K. This is Special K, this is Special K, this one's the game's native. So if you wanted to use Auto HDR and Special K, you would have to use this pass passer method, which won't work here because the game is natively in SDR, and if you force it into HDR, it's obviously not going to look good unless you use this conversion process that Special K uses. And hopefully this video gave you a lot of things. If you have any questions, please ask them. Hope you learned something. This game just looks really cool in HDR. I don't think it looks good without the HDR at all. I think it's too dark. Hi. Right, bye.